name's Loretta Cook. I work at a salon called Perfect Image here in Hillsburg, down by the plaza. I've been doing hair for over 27 years now. I did go to beauty college in Santa Rosa right after I graduated from Hillsburg High School. The training took about 10 or 11 months at that time. I think it's probably still about the same. The school I went to is called Redwood Empire Beauty College, and I believe it is still in Santa Rosa. In beauty college, it was just like a classroom setting, very much like, you know, at school. We had to do a lot of book work and learning that way before we ever picked up a pair of scissors. And we actually had what we called dolly heads to work on when we did our very first haircuts. So they were fake dollies and the hair obviously didn't grow back if we messed it up, but that didn't happen too often. In beauty college, I did what they call a full cosmetology training, which means we are, I am licensed to do nails. So we had to learn how to do nails and fake nails and that kind of thing. We had to learn all about skincare and how to do facials and that and every aspect of hair care, cutting, coloring, and perming. So my license, I could walk in somewhere and be licensed. If I decided I wanted to do nails, I'm licensed to do nails and also skincare. I had just decided to specialize more in, in doing hair. I thought I, I would be able to stay busier by doing that. My very first job out of beauty college after I went and took my state test, because you have to take a state licensing test and pass that, was at a place called Super Scissors here in Hillsburg. And it was a salon where you just walk in and you don't have an appointment. And we just cut hair all day long. So I learned a lot more about hair cutting there, more than I even learned in school. And then after that, I was ready to move on to a different type of salon called a full service salon. And I worked at Sheer Pizzazz here in Hillsburg for I guess about five years and I did a lot. I started working a lot on hair coloring and then of course one of the whole points of doing hair is building your clientele so you always have somebody's hair that you're doing. You want to stay busy and get as busy as possible so worked there for about five years and went on to another salon after that because I decided to become self-employed, which is another way you can be a hairstylist. You can either own your own shop or work for someone else who owns a shop or you can rent what they call a station and that's what I do now. So I'm completely self-employed. I rent my station in a salon from somebody else. I pay them a monthly rent and I buy all my own supplies and do my own appointments, my own hours. So I think some of the things I could think about for someone starting out in the business would be to not try to go out and rent your own station right away, right out of beauty college. You really need to take a few years to build a clientele so you're busy, so you're making money if you're paying money to pay rent in a, in a station rental situation. I believe that some of the skills a good hairstylist and a busy hairstylist needs to have are people skills. You have to like people and you have to like to work with people and you kind of have to like to take care of people, which is a good thing. You're there. It's a customer service job, so that's what you need to do. And then you can take classes to build your skills on haircut and coloring as technology changes and new ideas come up. And I've done a bit of that throughout the years also. My favorite part of being a hairstylist is probably hair color because I do love to do hair color. But you can specialize in many different things. In bigger cities they have salons where you could go and specialize only in hair cutting or only in hair coloring. But I kind of like to do everything. 